Yo guys, it is Marx and Mills. Today we are doing another vlog with school stories, just similar school stories that you might have. This is a better way that you get to know us a little bit more. You get to know what we're like, and you realise that we don't take shit from no old bastard with coffee. I did get into a couple of fights, and I did ran away from a couple of fights because there was a lot of scary people. I hate fights. Fights are fucking horrible, man. I used to get in fights all the time in school. I, I... broke a lot of shit in school. <laughs> I, I, I used to play, like, manhunt. I jumped from a top tree branch right through a fucking bench. No, because everyone was trying to get me. They were climbing up the tree, so I thought, fuck it. No one's going to get me if I jump off the branch. There was people down there waiting for me. Like They're like, oh, go up the tree, chase him down. We'll wait down here when he jumps down. Like I always do. I always jump down and run before they can catch me. But I jump down on the bench thinking... Phew, Land on the bench, it's up high a little bit, and then and jump off the jump bench, over, yeah. yeah. But I went pff, right through the bench, this part of my waist was like stuck in the bench, and I'm just like, fuck! And I was just like, nah, time out guys, time out, seriously, my, I think I fucked up my ribs. Don't think I ever broke anything in school. Well, I, I know I almost broke a teacher's nose, because she didn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Fucking, uh. this one bitch, right? If I'm getting told off for something, make sure I'm actually, you know, doing something wrong. So I'm sat there, I'm doing, I've done all my work at this point, and I'm waiting, because we're in an ICT room, right? I'm waiting for my dickhead teacher to go put some paper in the printer. While I'm waiting, I put my headphones on, and I'm changing the track over on the computer. Teacher comes over and, right, 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 you shouldn't be on that. Bearing in mind this teacher has a go at me every fucking day, for no reason, just because she can. And I've said to her, why don't you leave me the fuck alone? I'm sick and tired of your shit. Sick and tired of you picking on me for no fucking reason. Word for word, like, you're taking the piss, you're treating me like shit all the time, like, I'm trying to get on with what I've done, I'm done my work, now fuck off and leave me alone. If I'm telling her to fuck off and leave me alone, she's then turned, walked away, literally shut her mouth. So I'm muttering under my breath when I'm looking at my computer, cunt. Boom! Instantly jumps on me, like, rah, 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 get out of my classroom! And I'm like, for real? <laughs> right. I once called a teacher a paedophile. Do you ever get it when the teacher like bends over and their ass in your face when they're trying to help someone else? <laughs> Have you ever got that? I never thought I'd miss you half as much as I do. Or when a teacher comes over to help you and you don't need the help, they come over to help you and they've got stinky ass breath as well. They're like, yes, so. Uh, the ones I did do like that, if you've got the really hot teachers, you come over and like, Miss, can I have some help? And she's like, I'll be right over Cameron. No, so, no, yeah, no, no, it's, oh, yeah, she's in front of you and she's like, So, what did you need help with? It's like, I like boobs, boobs, boobs. <laughs> or if she stands behind you and helps you, she'll lean over and you're like, down straight, but mm. down straight. How strict was your school on phones? Like, if, if we had our phones out in the lesson, yeah, we we get told That's off. The worst. And then if we get seen with it again, they would ask, ask, yeah, they'd ask and you could it. have it at the end of the lesson. No, no, we get it over uh, the end of the day. Really? Like they take it up to the office, and you go get it from the office. Or they'd keep it in their drawer to the end of the day. But no one ever used to give their phone up. I'm like, are you dumb? You're an old man. You're not touching my fucking phone. I was always on Luke's phone, playing Angry Birds. <laughs> Did you get Luke's phone taken off? Yeah, a couple of times. No, no, there was one time, the science teacher, he would always assume I'm on my phone, even if I, like, twiddle with my phone. He's like, if off your phone, I'm just like, what phone? I, I had this little, like, secret compartment underneath the table. I was like, what phone? He came over, he was like, where is it? Where are you hiding it? I stood up, and he searched everywhere, he couldn't find it. I went back on the phone. And he, he's like, you're on the phone again, aren't you? I went, Pfft. and he's like, where is this? Finn, you're putting the phone on set. I used to get told off for of smoking a lot in school. In my school, we used to have a maths block, and underneath the maths block was a French block. It's all outside of the school, like, connected, but... So it's got this little area where you can go around the back of the whole school, and come around in a big loop. And so you can get to the back classrooms, you can get to the drama studio, you can get to everywhere a lot quicker. So they shut it off. The, 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 one of the easiest places for fucking people to go and get two classes like, if you're at one side of that school, and you want to get to the drama studio, 
you have the five minute walk or the 15 minute walk. Hmm. So they shut off the five minute walk. What was exams like? Oh, my exams were horrible. When I was a dumbass, so most of the questions looked like gibberish to me. So I started um, like carving little pictures into the desk. Yeah. Yeah. You would always see like some certain person's name was here, like or something like that, like the date written down. Yeah, I noticed that. I always put like such and such was here. It's like you're never gonna sit there again, are you? And what would you put your name was here? If we have a friend called Luke. I always used to uh, annoy him in school. I, I, I sprayed him with fire extinguishers and everything. But the uh, ma main thing he got annoyed with was with me writing his name, heart, anyone else I want to put. Like, I put teachers' names all over the desks. Uh, like, male teachers, by the way. Uh, like, How it's done. How yeah. it's done. It's been there, like, I don't know, for six months. Near the end of our year, in year 11. He finally spotted it. Yeah. This was a different teacher as well. I, I, I've been doing this when there was a different teacher. And then when we got a supply teacher, we stuck with him for the rest of the year. And then he looked at it. I hadn't drawn on this table ever since we had the new teacher. And he looks at the he looks at the drawings and is like, what, did you do without this lesson? I was like, no. Well, that's been there for months. I even said that's been there since year 10. And he still said, clean that up now, you've done that all now. So he gives me a lot of expensive cleaning equipment. So first thing I thought is no dabbing, just I usually just get the whole thing and splash it all over the and he's there like, you've used the whole pot already? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, that was very expensive stuff. I'm like, well it's not coming off, is it? It's been on here for six months. <laughs> just right. enough. Like there was just people who thought they were bigger than you and cleverer than you, so they try and state that fact. No, I'm a pretty tall lad, I'm six foot three. I'm a bit stocky, and I had little tiny kids, like, well, people in my year, but they're about 5'2", <laughs> coming at me, starting on me. It's like, I could boot you halfway across the school. <laughs> Fuck off. On Thursdays, we'd have um, double media, double drama, and double PE. And uh, as you can tell by the size of me, I don't do PE. So I am not spending an hour and 40 minutes, but you got to be in school, apparently. So instead I did enough physical education to try and climb a fence. <laughs>